What's up guys, it's you say Specialist, and the situation with the next Battlefield just got very bad. As many of us already know, last week Battlefield's game director and head of newly formed Ridgeline Games, Marcus Leto, walked off the job after only two years. His departure came as a shock to fans, as he did so on his own accord, and appears to have quit while not having another position ready. Now, I'll have another video speaking about that soon, but today's big news is that EA is shutting down Ridgeline Games now that Marcus Leto left, according to IGN. Ridgeline was created just after Battlefield 2042's release and was meant to be the home of all things Battlefield and house its narrative team under the leadership of Master Chief co-creator and Halo's narrative lead, Marcus Leto. However, EA has confirmed they will be laying off 670 employees, many of which come from the Battlefield studio. Now, Battlefield's upcoming single-player campaign will be continuing, however, Criterion Games, best known for Need for Speed, is once again being called in to take over, with some Ridgeline employees being shifted to Ripple Effect and Criterion in order to continue their work on Battlefield. Immediately after these remarks from IGN, Marcus Leto did respond on Twitter saying that he was gut-punched to see his team get laid off. Perhaps Leto was ahead of the curb and that's why he left, or perhaps he feels like he should have been there for his team. The reason for Leto's departure is still unknown, but is speculated to not be favorable towards executive management as fans feel that Leto was forced to jump overboard due to his short notice, limited comments on the subject, and EA's lack of acknowledgement until recently. Now of course within EA's prepared remarks, we got a handful of comments saying how amazing the next Battlefield is going to be, and how the teams are being so ambitious with their new vision. All things we heard three years ago, as Battlefield 2042 was in development hell. I'm not saying the next Battlefield will be a disaster, but the more I hear about the next title, the more it echoes of 2042's disaster. With head of Criterion Games Danny Isaac and Darren White coming in to replace Leto alongside Vince Sempella and Byron Bede from Call of Duty, I believe there's more than enough talent, but EA made a studio just for Battlefield and then shut it down before they even made anything. I'm concerned EA's long-term planning and executive decision-making could have this franchise dead in the water. But guys, I'll have a video speaking about Marcus Leto's departure very soon, so drop those comments below and tell me what you think. For everything else Battlefield, stay tuned and subscribe, and as always, thank you guys for watching.